This will be the third Molly Moisture use. Let's get it. Put up, put up, put up, put up, put up. Yeah, I got the comb session in right quick. Comb it with the grain against the grain. Lift it up. What's good, everybody? What's good? What's good? What's good, Jacob? What's up? What's good, Jai? What's good? What's good? What's good, everybody? What up, Kenneth? What it do? I've been using a lot of oils lately, so I need a good wash. I had some dandruff the other day. And uh, I need a good, good wash, y'all. A good wash. What shampoo? Um, Maui Moisture shampoo. This is my third time using it. I just ordered me some more of this last night. The site just opened up. They restocked. I ordered some more uh, wash bars last night. So if y'all not hip, head over there and grab y'all one. They on sale for ten ninety nine, bro. I keep telling you what shampoo, bro. <laughs> Maui Moisture shampoo. But um, uh, yeah, man, we about to get this good wash session in. It's my first wash. Like I said, for my hair to been full of oils and stuff, it's wash. It lathered real good off back the first wash yes yeah, the truth man everybody be sleeping on that boy I'm gonna give away a few of these boys <clears throat> matter of fact I'm not even gonna scramble I'm not even gonna scrub it yet cuz I gotta get this dirt out right quick so I'm gonna do Two, maybe three washes because I got oil in here, but it looks pretty good so far. A lot of people ask me how to bounce back after I done scramble wash. Well, I can scramble wash and bounce back in one session. Yeah, do it with a do a scalp massage with some oils with it. Live. 
So people ask me how to bounce back after scramble washing. It takes me about two two sessions, two separate sessions to bounce back. But you, if your hair is thick, you mostly need um, like a 30 minute, 40 minute medium and hard brush session and lay it down real good. And it mainly just takes brush time. You gotta really brush. Y'all about to run a bay. <laughs> That's good. Stay on my head, man. Stay on my head. Run a fade. Run a fade. I can take it. I can take it. I'll run. Y'all can run a fade. It's all good. All right. So. I'm gonna do some crown work while we're washing because I really need to uh, get a good crown session in. I've been abusing it. Working on my sides, been taking all of my energy, time and energy and focus. So I done really lost track of my crown work. So we about to get some crown work in. I've got to brush this back down. I know, man. If it, you know how dogs, you find a dog spot when you scratching or rubbing them, it's the same shit. <laughs> now I ain't saying all that. Man. A lot of y'all need to get some. A lot of y'all need to get some, dog. Y'all be tripping. <laughs> a lot of y'all be tripping, bro. A lot of y'all be in heat. I be wondering what be wrong with y'all, man. Hey, I appreciate that shot time. Will, I appreciate that, big dog. I appreciate that, fam. What's good? Only one Christmas. What's good? Sis in the building. You be forgetting, but you watching, you know what I'm saying? You watching, that's all that matters. You come through the block every every day, you feel me? All right, y'all, I need. some good comments what y'all talking about it's too small <laughs> what's up Jesus up no it's cool I mean you know to be honest it's it takes a combination of views likes And comments, but y'all commenting and y'all watching, that's cool with me. 416 
I don't know how to pronounce that name. I am, if you've been watching the channel, which apparently you have not. So, welcome to the channel, big dog. I hope you subscribe. I do have a giveaway coming at the beginning of February. So. The Diane Fake Softy. <laughs> yeah, I say softy, but it's really not. Yeah. Yeah. That's soft when you wet it. But that's about it. Because he, it's not fake. The, the brush is not fake. He's saying that it's labeled as a softy, but it's not soft at all. Look how it's moving my hair while it's wet. It's more like a medium. The brush stays soft, but it's a medium. See? Softy. But it's really like a medium hard. No, you ain't slow, man. Um, Ambrisha Hill. How do you brush when you're just starting? To be honest with you, you got to figure out what pattern you got. If you're just going for straight 360s, you will brush just like I'm brushing. From the crown all the way through. From the crown all the way through. From the crown all the way through. All the way around. And if you just starting, you need to um, just focus on brush time. The mistake people make when they just starting is not brushing enough. Boogie not on my team no more how I feel. <laughs> oh, I got you. My bad. My bad. I'm going to email you. Oh, I got you. I got you. How do I feel about that? I ain't tripping. It's just an all-star game. I'm not a Pelican fan, so... No, my crown always been right here. My crown always been right here. I tried to force it in the middle before, but um, it didn't look right. I tried to force it over here, but it kept sliding over to the right. So I left it. People criticize me for that because, to be honest, it's hard to keep your right side angles down. When you got an offset crown. But I stuck to it. And I ain't care what people say. And I try to make the pattern the best I can. So. Jordan shrugs. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Rinse. And, my, and then I'm going to do a third wash. Why y'all talking about uh basketball? Y'all need to be talking about this weak ass clipper piston trade, bro. I can't believe it. Let's talk about this weak ass pistons clipper trade, bro. Can you be can you be flawless with a forced crown? Mm. That's a good question. That's a real good question, dog. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just hearing that question, you would think no. Nah, you would think not. But I guess it really depends on how hard you go. 
anything is possible if you're going hard at it. You know what I'm saying? But I think there will be like a disadvantage coming into a pattern with a forced crown. Because, you know, any wrong angle could change up where your crown placement is at any given time. So, <laughs> I want to say I don't think so, but I don't know. And, um, when my hair is thick, I wash two to three times a week. If I'm going into, uh, more than a two months without a cut, then I'll, br I'll wash, uh, three to four times a week, but you got to be careful with that. I say stick to twice a week, if nothing else. Twice a week is cool. Twice a week is cool. But, yeah, man, they just, I mean, I'm from, I'm from the city, y'all. I'm in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they only did that Blake shit just to try to get ticket sales. I done been to two pissing games this season, and both times they lost. Both times they lost. So that's all they want is something, somebody to come here to get ticket sales. Blake not gonna bring no motherfucking championship here, bro. What the fuck? We might not even make the playoffs just even with Blake. You know what I'm saying? So that was just desperation. That was just desperation, bro. Yeah, um, you know what? Washing your hair too much is kind of a myth. Um, I've gone six days straight washing my hair every single day. And it's really all about um, making sure you're using shampoos that's not hard on the hair. All natural shampoos. And um, on top of that, you got to make sure you moisturize it after you stripping your hair like that. But I wouldn't advise that to nobody who's never done it before. You know, not, beginners should only wash their hair, you know, once or twice a week. But me, when I scalped, I preferred to wash more often because I was already advanced and I was trying to rush the progress. But... It can be hard on your hair, especially depending on your texture. But I think coarse waivers benefit from washing more often because a lot of coarse waivers' hair is dry. And when you got dry hair, it keeps you from getting that progress you're looking for. But yeah, they got rid of all of them. Um, yes. Yes, it does. The detangler brush does help break forks. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Because when you... I'm about to show you on a fork right quick. That fork right here. You breaking it up while it's wet. Right? And it's lifting and separating it. You know? Just like if you was to brush it, but when you scramble wash and use this, it does break forks. <laughs> no, that ain't the only fork I got. I got a total of like five forks. You know what I'm saying? And I really don't care. A lot of people, a lot of people are worried about forks. Oh, I got forks. But as long as your head is not full of fucking forks, I wouldn't worry about that shit. You know, you maximize your pattern. You maximize your pattern as, as good as you can by, by learning all your angles. Learning all your angles. And you be patient and you work the forks out. If you know your angles is right, you work the forks out and you'll be good. 
Yeah, I made a lot of progress. I made a lot, a lot of progress. If you, if you um, can give the beginners any tips coming from your standpoint, that would be dope. Because you made a lot of good progress. Another thing that set people back is y'all don't listen. A lot of people don't listen. Like somebody telling you brush more, that means you got to brush more. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. When you begin it, the sides is hard and the back is hard. The top is easy because everybody grabbed their brush and they just start hitting the top. The sides is the hardest part about beginning. That's the sides can make or break you, I swear. All right, so we got washing the books. I ain't leaving y'all yet. I'm going to rinse this out. Show y'all what it's looking like. Alright, so, hold on y'all, I ain't got all this soap out. you wash your hair I don't care if it's scramble washing or regular washing you should make sure you always moisturize make sure you always moisturize <laughs> so I'm gonna throw some moisturizer in these joints now coarse wavers when you wash yes our hair be ugly as fuck when we wash our hair but you gotta beat that shit back down. <laughs> you gotta beat that shit like a slave, dog. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kenneth Kirkland. It depends on your texture. I, when I give tips, is from my texture experience and with coarse hair I feel like low cuts is the best to break forks with a low cut. It's some people that's gonna say the opposite of what I just said but you know that's their opinion but I think low cuts are better because you can see well in your case low cut because you can see you can see everything and you can figure out which way to send it before it's too late. When it's too late, it's already thick and you don't know which way to send it. What up, <laughs> wavy squirrel? I don't know your, your real name, but <laughs> your YouTube name is wavy squirrel. Well, what up, though? Yeah, I did three washes, fam. It's all good. I ain't going nowhere yet. All right, so. We about to try out this new brush, y'all. I just got this in the mail yesterday. It's a Royal 912. It's a palm brush. So, another thing, coarse wavers. When y'all wash your hair, or if you shower washed your hair,
need to learn to brush it until it's down. All right, brush it till it's down. That's gonna train it to lay down. Ooh, this boy kind of hard on these scalp. So you brush it till it's dry. I might have to mold to something softer. Good looking, appreciate it. Tips on crown. My main tip on crown is don't wait till you got all your waves around in a 360 and then decide to work on your crown. That's the number one problem with beginners. Facts. The crown dictates everything. If you get forks in your pattern, like this fork came from my crown. You know what I'm saying? So, tips for beginners. Find your crown. And pay attention to it first. Start with your crown first. Because it's going to make your life so much easier in the end. But first you got to find it. It's best to find it when you shampoo it. Because that way you can find which way your hair is growing. Crown first. Crown first. Crown first. Yep. I get a lot of people that be like, I'm going um, to get these bitches swimming first. Then I'm going to figure out my crown. No. Because you're going to have all them. You're going to have dog ass 360s. No crown. And wonder why you're getting forks. Making it harder on yourself. Amen. <clears throat> Sharon Clark. You got two crowns. To be honest, y'all, I think that's rare. I'm not saying you don't. But having two crowns is a rarity. And, uh, you know, I don't have experience with uh, giving advice for people with two crowns. But it's a very rare situation. And it's hard to master. Oh, what up, Brian? <laughs> what up, Brian, man? All right, I'm, I'm fuck with you now. I know who you are now, big dog. Yeah, that pic did look familiar, but shit, I ain't know. All right, so when you brushing it till it's, till it's damp, you want to stop it before it get real frizzy and then add in moisturizer. Nope, not on curves no more. You behind, big dog. I'm, I've been on flats for a minute. I've been on flats for about at least a week or two. I abandoned them. Why everybody keep saying? Why everybody keep saying I abandoned them? I did not abandon them. I just, you know, I broke up with them. I just don't mix brushes, you know, and I'm back to flats, so. Alright, so it's hot as fuck in this bathroom, y'all. So my hair is drying pretty fast. So it's moist. It's laid just a little bit. Now it's time to add the moisturizer. So I'm going to use this today. I know y'all think I'm probably crazy because it's not all natural, but I'm going to use it today. I fuck with it. This is what I used when I was, when I scalped. That's all I had used. When I scalped, I used this to get my waves back. So I don't see why I can't use it right now. <laughs> was the curves the main or the side? You know, I think it was more so like a side type of situation. 
You know what I'm saying? And it lasted longer than what it was supposed to. You feel me? So now I got my shit back together and I'm back on flats. You dig? Hey, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. All right, so this is how y'all bounce back. It was an open brush relationship. <laughs> All right, so y'all stupid, bro. Put the moisturizer in, right? Put just enough in to make it soft. And then we're going to brush that in. It's a grind. It is very, really, really hard to bounce back when you're a course waver. But you got to keep brushing. You got to keep brushing. That's that's the bottom line. You got to keep brushing. Don't, <laughs> don't jump on that wave train if you ain't got the time. Feel me? Y'all some clowns, I swear. <laughs> yeah, that's that, um, uh, my fluffy puffs. Legion sauce is good too. I just never used it. I heard good things about Legion sauce, but I fucked with this. And by the time I fucked with this, I've never even got a chance to try it. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You feel me? How many times should you, should you moisturize your hair in a week? You got to know if you need it. You got to know if your hair need it. I say every other day. Every other day, you should moisturize. But if you're just beginning and you got a fresh pattern, you should moisturize daily. If, you, if you're a beginner, if, if you're a beginner, if. <laughs> if you're a beginner, you should moisturize every day. But if you like intermediate, so to speak, you should um, every other day. Every two days, every other day, will be perfect. What up, JP? I see you. Putting in another day's work. You did? And a lot of people say, a lot of people say, a lot of people watch my channel that's not really like waivers. And... They were like, y'all got to put in all that work and all this other shit. I mean, yeah, it's hard. It's hard. But once you get that shit down pat, it's nothing. Yep, you got to have the time. Time. I got some new Monster Pros in yesterday, y'all. I got some, I got two other ones. This is a medium. I got a softy and a hard. I'm going to use that boy later for my second session. Those boys cold. I can't wait to get down on them. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what, this, that's what these lives is for. That's what these lives is for. To motivate somebody. To make somebody shit slap crazy. <laughs> yeah, JP. It just make it fun when you uh when you got when you cop a new brush, it make you want to brush a little bit more, a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? What up, G the hustle is real? What's good? God damn it. We got gang in the building.
Man, it's been a long road. You know what I'm saying? I should have never stopped. You know what I'm saying? I should have never stopped making videos. I should have never stopped. Now the grind is long. But I won't quit. I won't quit. Y'all fucks with me. I won't quit. It's been a long grind, dog. A long, long grind, dog. All right, so when you wash and when you condition, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that lie was, bro, that lie was lit, bro. I got so many warnings from YouTube from that video for copyrighted music. It's a fucking shame. Free 99 for that brush. See, you already on some, you already on some shit, dog. I can't fuck with you, bro. You already on some shit. Yeah, don't get this far just to get this far. Hell yeah. I fucks with that. So when you when you wash and you condition, it's all fluffy and ugly. <clears throat> Moisturize. And then an oil. Alright. Moisturize, then an oil. And we're gonna keep banging the brush until it starts looking like it just start looking like it was before you started. You feel me? You want to keep brushing it till it bounces back. <laughs> Man, I got dogs and they seem to like to bark when I go live. And that's just so ghetto to me. I hate that. Like, dog, don't start barking when I want to go live. So you wash, you moisturize, and you put oil. I was going to line it up today, but I'm going to wait till Thursday. Yeah, I'm going to wait till Thursday when I wash. So, boom. Put me some oil in. I'm going to monster. What up, Mr. Wavy? Yeah, when I came back, when I came back to YouTube a few months ago, I had 1,345 subs. Now I'm at 27. I want to shout out Wave Phenomenon. That's my brother, man. He been doing my video edits, sharing my videos. Shake down TK, TK Creighton. That's my boy. It's my little bro. He on the he on the RG3 share game. He been holding me down. Four sixteen. If you're not hip. I've been going live almost every day. Almost. I've missed probably three or four days in total. But I've been live almost every single day. Um, brushing, washing, talking shit, talking sports, all type of shit. So, shout out to my new subscribers. If you didn't subscribe in 2018, shout out to my new subscribers. Let me know who new in the build is. Let me know who knew in the building. Let me know who knew. If you subscribe this year, that's that's what's up. What up, though? What's your nickname, fam? 416? What? KD? Shout you out, big dog. Welcome to the channel. Hope you get your, get your brush games up. You feel me? Thanks, Javon. Thanks, Javon. Thanks, Javon. Let's get it.
Another problem I see is niggas is addicted to washing and styling. Like, bro, you still got to wash. I mean, you still got to brush. Niggas think that they can wash and style and you just walk around like they ain't got to brush all fucking day. You have to brush. You can't wash and style your way to fucking connections. You can't wash and style your way to no motherfucking elite waves. You got to brush this shit. You know what I'm saying? All right, so... When it's curling up like that, y'all, that means I need a harder brush. Harder brush. So, we're gonna, we're gonna run with that double duck. You know what, when you hire your intern, make sure you send the intern's twin over here to me. Because you know what I'm saying, I'm going to need that too. I pay in food stamps, ramen noodles, Twizzlers, the cherry kind, not the strawberry. Oh, and I'm paying Skittles too, because I'm a unicorn. Yeah, Sporting Waves is good. And Murray's. Murray's Super Light and Sporting Waves. It's good for beginners, but after your fresh first haircut, after your first haircut, you should move over into something that's more natural for your hair. I can't even lie, this shit is hard to keep your hair thick. It's hard to keep your hair thick. I'm addicted to low cuts and I decided to stop cutting it so low and it's real hard. It's hard. Don't be jealous fam, get this money. Don't be, don't be jealous, get this money with me. Get this money with me dog. I don't have the best ways out here, but they not trash neither. G real, you know what? No, I'm not trying to wolf longer. I'm gonna wolf four weeks and cut it back at another, another number two. I'm gonna cut every four weeks. There's no need for me to wolf. Look how thick this is, and I just cut it a week ago. I just cut this hair a week ago to a number two with the grain, and look how thick it is. The growth oil I'm using got my shit going crazy. Not to mention that I'm on biotin, biotin gummies. Hair growing like crazy. Hair growing like crazy. There's no need to go on an eight week wolf and all that crazy shit because it's growing too fast. So once it start brushing, brushing, once it start bouncing back, 
that's when you start moving over to your softies and start laying it down and get ready to rag it up. Yeah, long as you got the three main, soft, medium, hard, there's no rush to just buy more brushes. Um, you know, once you get addicted to waving, you get addicted. You want to buy every new brush, every brush look good, you want this, you want that. Alright. So... I'm not going to worry about the frizz because I'm going to soft it down. And when I rag it up and unrag it, it's going to be laid. All this hard work is going to pay off once I rag it up. So we into the softies now. I'm gonna move from this softie to this one, down to this one. It's, it's harder work when, when you scramble washing to bounce back versus a regular wash with the gray. Um, but it helps with forks, it helps with hair health to scramble it every now and then to get down to your scalp and when you're really trying to condition your hair, it's good to get, get down to the scalp and get the shampoo down in there and it stretches your curls, it loosens up your pattern when you scramble wash. So after I get done uh, brushing, I'm gonna um, rag it up. I'm gonna rag it up. And when I unrag, I'm gonna comb it out and get a medium session in with some more oil. You got some about a shift from 360 to 540. Um, if you shift them without scalping, you're going to have forks, hands down, you're going to have forks. But I'd rather a person shift instead of scalping because scalping is just so devastating, dog. Scalping is devastating. You're going to have forks though, but the key is to find your angles. Don't start a pattern that you don't know what your angles are supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? That's going to set you up for forks.
Hey, I'm just, I just want y'all to see the grind, you feel me? Grind. Grind. Just see the grind, man. Yeah, don't start over. You ain't got to start over. Just find somebody with the pattern that you're looking for. And then, ask them their angles. Get them bound packed and you straight. Somebody said, let me see. Somebody said, God damn it, what a comment. Oh well. No, you shouldn't scramble wash if your pattern not set. Nope. Don't do it if your pattern isn't set. That could be suicidal. <laughs> you could disturb your connections if your pattern isn't set. Soon today, big dog. Smell good. Um, I say two, three months it take to get a full head of connected waves. Are they gonna be perfectly connected? No, but to get your first set, you know, a good, reasonable amount of connection, I say two to three months. Alright, I quit. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, I quit. Seriously. <laughs> Alright, so when you, if you didn't done this exact process, you don't want to you don't want to wait forever to unrag it and get back at it. Um, I'm gonna wait 30, 40 minutes. I'm a, when I leave, I'm gonna take a brush with me and I'm gonna unrag. I'm going to unwrap and I'm going to hit it with the medium brush and it's going to be, it's going to be smooth. Might not add no more product in to later on tonight. Yeah, that's what I cut. That's what I cut to a two with the grain like a week and a half ago and it's already thick as hell. So, um. Uh, So I got, I got two or three more weeks left before I cut again, before I cut again. So I'll be cutting while, uh, I'm going to cut live for y'all, so don't trip. But remember, wash, moisturize, oil or butter, brush it like crazy, rag it up, unrag it, comb it. Brush it. Scramble wash. Uh, Muhammad Mo, listen. I want you to keep watching and take notes, all right? I'm going to show y'all how to keep a high wolf, a thick wolf tamed. I also got a video y'all can check out. Um, it's, it's called How to Lay a Wolf Down. And I, my hair was extra thick. I'm going to show y'all why well, I showed y'all my method on how to lay the wolf down. So check that out. I hope that it helped you. Um, appreciate that, big dog. I will keep going. I won't stop. Uh, I'll be back. Thanks for watching. He's your girl, RG3. And I'm live from the 313 over and out.